post game Saturday, and then he said it again yesterday. That the line, the offensive line, was changing the line of scrimmage. What does that mean? And I see you smile. Tell tell people that well, don't know what that means. That's a great thing when your offensive coordinator says that for all you offensive linemen out there. Um, you know, that just means that we're getting great push. Um, you know, really trying to dominate that off or that line of scrimmage like we have been doing. Um, and you know, it was great to see us constantly going back to the run, so we got that opportunity over and over again. How many pancakes do you think you had out there Saturday? Around five. You know, Jay, I think, had five and a half, six. So it was, it was a fun game. Did you set the, the tone early? I mean, it looked like that big defensive tackle got knocked backwards on that first drive. You know, really, it all started when we did the sportsmanship handshake, um, you know, and they wouldn't shake our hands. And then we were just like, okay, guys, you know, it's going to be a long night for you if you're going to constantly be disrespecting us. Um, you know, from the first play, me and Jay were pancaking. Uh, that defensive tackle. So it was fun to just be so tenacious and, you know, really get after him. What do you remember about the last time you went to Raleigh? The last time the fourth guys lost to an ranked team had a tackle along since then? Yeah. Um, last thing I remember is Isaiah uppercutting that guy and, you know, knocking him backwards a couple of feet. Um, but, no, they're always a great opponent, obviously. Um, you know, the crowd there just gets after it. They're extremely loud and, you know, they'll heckle you to death. Um, great environment to play in. Um, so it's, it's going to be, we're really looking forward to it. Their defense obviously is outstanding, really good against the pass this year. So uh, it's going to be a fun experience. Um, I think we won the last time we were there. Back in 2011. I'm um, sorry. I wasn't a part of that. I was redshirted. Um, you know, it was miserable to watch. That was probably the worst game I've ever seen Clemson play to where nothing was going right for us. Um, fumbles, you know, giving up big plays on defense. So. But you know, none of us were a part of that, so it's, it doesn't really matter. Have you noticed maybe towards the end of games or during his teams starting to kind of respect the physicality and toughness you guys are showing? I mean, are teams kind of backing down a little bit more? Um, not really. I think everyone's going to be pretty prideful that you play. Um, no one's going to want to just give up or back down from you. Um, so I think that we're going to really get everyone's best shot from here on out, no matter you know who we're playing. Do you guys feel like you're? You've kind of developed a nasty attitude now. This I think so. I think you know with, when you run the ball for 416 yards, um, obviously we're extremely excited about that. Um, and you know you got to have kind of a little bit of a nasty streak to uh, do something of that nature. You mentioned how badly the line knew, wanted to get that 400 when knew you were close. Did you guys self reward yourselves at all after the after uh, no. on Sunday? Did you eat a little extra or anything, <laughs> no, anything uh, like that? You know we were just doing our jobs. Um, you know, it was a great accomplishment, but, you know, at the end of the day, that's what we're there for. You know, it's kind of a not an expectation, per se, to get 400 yards, um, but when we do, you know, we try to act like we've been there before. We've had a lot of guys got plenty of time on Saturday. You know, guys that you've seen do practice all summer come up and around. Out of the group that got plenty yeah, of time, who did you see in there that you saw make really some significant uh, st uh, strides here? Right. So uh, you know, couldn't be more proud of them as a group. You know, we played 69 out of 72 guys. Um, so that was just truly incredible to see them get in there, all the preparation that they put in. Um, you know, it's kind of the light at the end of the long tunnel for those guys because, you know, all they've done is prepare, 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 um, and never maybe gotten the opportunity as much as they did. Um, so I'm hoping that a bunch of them will kind of realize, you know, hey, my, you know, my chance can come, my opportunity can come at any play. You know, injuries occur all the time. Um, but on the offensive line, you know, all of them, just the whole second group did incredible. Um, there was no drop off at all. Um, I think we went on to score two or three touchdowns with them in. Um, but, you know, overall, I think the most I was impressed with was Van Smith. That guy was just all over the field. I think he led the team in tackles. He played eight minutes um, and had a huge interception. So I think his preparation, um, you know, just speaks to the amount of pride that that secondary has um, to where, you know, their third string guy um, is in there making plays and knows exactly where to be. You're a guy who likes to engage and talk during the game. I know the fans, Miami fans, on the bench, we're letting you all have it. Um, is there a lot of that going on on the field? And if so, uh, did that stop or cease at all later in the game, or did that just continue? Um, you know, facing a team like Miami, who kind of has a history of talking and, you know, just being a little rambunctious, um, you know, we expected it going in. And it was a fun game. You know, I love, you know, just talking back and forth with players. It's kind of a game within the game to try and get them, you know, out of their mindset um, to where they might mess up or just overlook something. Um, so I, it never really stopped throughout the whole game. And it was, it was fun to just keep going back and forth with them. Have you been able to see the, the trend, just the way that Kelly Bryant has improved since he first got here to now? Is it, is it pretty evident in practice? I think really it's his confidence that's been boosted the most. Um, 
just to see the way that he's been running, the way that he's you know reading the defenses, um, has really been incredible to watch him grow and just constantly develop. Uh, but I definitely think it's his confidence that's helped him out the most. Is this the best offensive line since you've been here? Uh, that's not for me to decide. That's you guys. Um, I think it's the best offensive line I've been a part of. <laughs> Talk about the pride and the feeling you guys get when you look up the field and you see Deshaun 60 yards downfield in green grass and no one around. You know, really, um, you know, Wayne ran by me to the left and I was like, all right, we got a couple of yards. Um, and then I hear the crowd kind of like taking a breath or something. And he's just hauling down the field. We're just like, there we go, boys. There's another one we can, you know, we don't have to do a couple more plays here and there. So, you know, us big lazies, you know, we like it when they break out a long run. <laughs> <laughs> play call to uh, Jordan Leggett on the first touchdown. How, how hard is that? How excited are you to, to finally get to run that in the game after you prepare for it for a couple of weeks? And how hard is it to you know to stay focused and, and actually do your job? Yeah, um, you know when you run a trick play like that, you know we're all kind of just shaking, you know, ready to go uh, like some you know dogs or something. But we you know we practice that all the time. Um, you know, just seeing him finally get it, finally call it. Uh, yeah, we were definitely anxious. Um, but kudos for us for staying patient, uh, just really allowing it to the play to develop. Um, and, you know, it was a thing of beauty. We had five guys sprinting down the field and, you know, the ball behind us. That was a good thing to see. Jordan mentioned that you guys work on a lot of trick plays, but his attitude anyway, and he said some of your teammates, it's like, ah, that's great, Coach. We're, we're never going to see that. We're never going to call it. Just just kind of your, your thoughts along those yeah, lines. Yeah, you know, we always try and execute it uh, to the best of our ability in practice. But, you know, in the back of our minds, we're like, are we really going to run this play? Um, but, you know, we, we did, and we executed it to perfection, I think. Um, so, you know, I'm just happy that they called it. Are there any real, just insane ones that you know absolutely will never get called? Or is there a chance you could you know, bring any of them? I'm throwing a pass up? to Mitch on one of them, so you guys look out for that. <laughs> <laughs> Can't tell you too many of the details, but it's going to be good. NC State ranks third nationally in total defense. What stands out about what they do well? Um, they're also ranked third nationally in pass defense. I think that's their best asset. Um, their DBs, I think, are all back from last year. Um, obviously, a very active group in blitzing as well. Um, you know, they're going to try and come from all over the field, similar to Boston College, similar to Notre Dame. Um, the great thing is we've seen this before. You know, we've had this, it seems like, every week. Um, guys try and blitz us and pressure us from the way that they're going to try to. Um, we just need to keep watching film and try and give up those uh, tendencies and find out what they're going to do best. You look like you're having so much fun. How do you combine I'm having the time of my life with staying focused every week? On the, on the goal? Um, you know, really just the, the humility and, you know, just being humbled for four years, it seemed like, um, to where maybe you weren't getting as much playing time as you wanted. Um, when you finally do, uh, you know, you're just here. You finally made it. Um, you can just finally relax and just play. And that's what I've been trying to do, just realizing <coughs> that this opportunity is short and a, a huge uh, opportunity at that to where our guys, you know, one play away and, you know, you're done for the season. So I really just try to have taken it day by day and I just soak it all in. What's it like having Sean be a part of this with you? No doubt. Um, great having your brother up here. Um, to see him grow and develop in college, maybe something that a lot of brothers haven't been able to do, and I've gotten a great opportunity to have that. Um, you know, it's been phenomenal just to have him here with me. The, the Colonel is a scary individual. What kind of barometer is he to you? Is he the, 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 the keep it loose guy, or does he keep you, you focused in? Um, you know, it's been great to watch him develop as well, because he's kind of changed. Um, you know, from high school to now, um, you know, usually he was always uptight, you know, just focus, focus, focus. Um, but now he's just, you know, just go play, just go have fun. Um, so it's been great to watch him develop um, and, you know, change his ways. But he's always the type of guy. And, uh, you know, the thing I like most is he's going to tell me what I did wrong and everyone else can tell me what I did right. So he's always that back down to earth, keep you level headed type deal. Coming into this season, the offensive line was one of the big question marks looming. Kind of answer those questions now. What was the? Can you go back and think what was the catalyst or what's the impetus for making you guys so good? Really, I think the catalyst is those five running backs we have back there that have, you know just seem to dominate each week. Um, obviously, Wayne being more of the front runner for that group, um, but I truly believe that we have five guys back there that could play anywhere in the country um, and you know and get good playing time. It just so happens that they're all in the same backfield, um, but they're running phenomenal. Um, you know, the coaches are calling great plays uh, for them. And uh, we've just been happy to execute.